That looks a bit off that colour, doesn't it? Right, okay, okay. Alexa, play traditional Chinese music, please. Playing traditional Chinese music on Amazon Music. Alexa, play meditative music, please. I can't even say it. Let me move. Let don't know about that. Like the sugar plum fairy. Right, good afternoon. I've got a few people here. Lovely jubbly. Oh, right. Didn't get a notification. That's unusual. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sylvia. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jenny. That's a little bit weird, not getting a notification. Well, I am so cold, I have got a hoodie on. A cardie with a hood. Honestly. And it's a myth about losing all your body heat from your head. But never mind. I'm not caring about that. Hi, Janet. Hmm, interesting. Well, I thought I'd do something slightly different, but we can make it into a Moodle, which is what it's all about. So today I've got like a drawing pad. I've got pencil, rubber, set of pencils. Uh, a sharpener, dusty. Hi, Di. This is for you, Di Everett. Hi, Liz. Well, for everybody, but Di, especially just little tips. I am not in any way, shape, form, up, down, sideways, whatever, a portrait drawer or painter at all. However, there are little tips and tricks that can help you. Whether you're a beginner or not, there's little things I wish I'd have been told. Um, oh, you're welcome. Um, there's been little tips that I'd have been told that would have made life easier. So I'm hopefully going to pass them on to you. Hello, Kim. Um, I've got some pencils here. And here. So, first of all, what are the cheap, cheapest? Hi Sandra, hi Linda. Cheapest and best tips is a piece of lined paper. Now, hello Emma. Now you might say, what on earth that's for? Right, first of all, you're not born running. Get that out of your head. When you say draw a face, you will not draw a face like a photograph ever unless you practice and even then you're not guaranteed it so get that out of your head first the first thing you need to do is know about proportions and proportions are very very different but there is a little rule hello helen hi judy and the way i'm going to do it is teach you or show you sorry online paper where the mythology starts with it and and where the little tricks i'm going to turn this light off and just tell me if it's any better is that any better guys or is it better with light on see i see the shadows they don't get much of oh, oh anyway so if you want to i'll give you a minute to go and get your pen or paper or anything get yourself i draw yourself a template right so a template is 
anything that you can recreate all the time and it's it's like your little stencil better with a light on okay there we go so the first thing you're going to do is get yourself i'm going to draw this massive but it doesn't matter regardless okay regardless of this it's the same principle now this is not the only one there are hundreds of these blooming things different ways of drawing but i will give you my first tip a trick so the first thing is say i'm going to draw within this here i'm going to draw a line there okay now this is going to be really rough and ready just to let you know so this is how i used to teach my, my students anyway so and then i draw say i'm going to make it even for myself just so it's easier for you Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So I'm going to draw a line, and I'm only doing it this big so you can see. Okay, so I've got a line there. Now that's going to be the top, but that's going to be the bottom of my face. There's two ways of doing it. So the first thing then I'm going to do is you can do, use a ruler or just go straight down and you do that. Hi Glynis! Right, centre line. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is half this. So I work that way, it's easier when I'm doing this. So I'm going to half it. Alright, now. So what we've got is a shape what we need to do is divide this up a little bit more okay uh, so we've got a way and it's let me get that right of dividing it up like that's loads of different ways but i'm going to show you the way that i do it which is it's this is alexa level one this is just the way i do it so Please, if you've got a better way, you do it your way. Hi, Molly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my shape. And it's really rough. Okay. So what I've done is a little, another little trick is measure that. So that's there. So you could actually bring that out a little bit more to make it but i'm not going to get into all that i'm just going to give you some little tips and tricks i'm not going to show you the ins and outs of a of a bear's ass so um what i'm going to show you now is like half 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 again and it's all based on thirds and reckoning like that so it's a little bit sometimes it can be a bit tricky to sort of get your head around i've done my prep sheet don't worry um so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide up these spaces first okay we're not really going to use this bit we're going to be using this bit okay so i'm just going to divide that up put them in again about there okay now your first inkling would be but you put your nose there wouldn't you you know that is not your nose that's your eye line that's your nose line then the last bit is when we divide it up and put your lips and stuff so just don't be get caught up into all this where you think your eyes should be it, it doesn't work like that so we've got our right we've got that there and then i'm trying to think what i did then right okay now there's another little trick i'm not going to do that quite yet so let me get this right now i've done now it's right there it's right there so on here it's going to be our eye line now your eyes you should be able to fit five eyes across your head right so it's not perfect it don't matter i'm not really worried i'm just going to give myself enough space so draw two little lines like that okay they're your eyeball believe it or not now tip best trick 
this is going to be your hairline and that's the top of your head do you get it there's your hairline so here is your eyebrows okay your nose and then what we're going to do is split this up and put your lip in so it'll be about there now this is more of a caricature just to get you going but it once you start you realize that you can do lots of things with it so then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the worst thing you could ever do is two circles which is terrible your eyes don't look like that now the nose you could draw another circle okay and the lips you draw underneath your lip and above your top lip you don't draw the top lip you draw above your top lip can you see that looks absolutely terrible I do realize it looks stupid but once you realize that these this is where your proportions are life is like oh why didn't I know this before because when we're doing our eyes we're not going to leave them like that we're actually we're going to take off the top part and the bottom part put our little tear duct on that then becomes your socket line and then your iris sits in it so that's remember that's your template now just so that you get an idea about noses your nose is the corner of your eye to there now the no I can't do it on because I'm going to do it on unlined paper your nose can be done like that shape you can put a bobble in it and then run off the sides if you want and then put a little nostril on it you can do a, a full line and eyebrow nose there's all sorts of different ways so what I'm going to do now is transfer to some clear paper here so I always do it on paper and then what I do is black lines draw on it and then I put this either on a light source and draw over it. So no, each time I'm going to get the placement where I want. It doesn't mean it's going to end up looking like that at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw it out again. So I'll draw my top line, bottom line. Okay, I'm going to in half, and then in half. Okay. Oh, there is another way. Let me just show you quickly. There is another way that some people do draw faces. And this is quite a useful one as well, where you draw a circle, okay? Like that. And then you just bring that down the width of it. So there. And there's your face. So if you're drawing a man, you draw it that length again for your chin but this time you wouldn't draw a round shape you draw a that's quite a useful you draw quite a shape a, a square jaw whereas the ladies would be less angular and more rounder so that when we do that we do that then I think that works for some people you see but not for all because you think wow that's a big head but yeah it will be but your eyes go on this And your mouth goes there and then you, you'd sort of have your your hairline would would be there so and the, the male would be again it'd be quite heavy the nose sorry it's a bit out that would be the width of your chin your eyes and then the nose, the angular line, and then the lips would be less, but they would be more, it would be straighter there, so you've got more of an angular shape. Do you get it? So your ears always come this part here, and then you would 
again you could do the hairline would always start round here it wouldn't be the hairline wouldn't be at the back of the head that's the top of your head the very top this is like where you, you your hair would be so you just darken that up and then you put a fringe on them if you want put your ears on there and you see you start to get a more of a more of a, an angular shape now but that's not a great one i understand that so let's go back onto this all right so i'm going to now do i quite like my circle so it would be like that do you get me so it's whichever suits you so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw in a shape okay just a shape I can always slim it down make it bigger if I want so there's my shape yep yeah. in half and then I'm going to split that in half oh no sorry two thirds what you've got to do is thirds so I've got to split this ignore the half line split it into thirds so if I think put it that way third and a third, yeah, as you say, nose, eyes, hair and eyebrows, okay, so it's halfway, so it's, what you do is, that's your first line, one, straight down the middle, okay, oh no, sorry, sorry, ignore that, ignore, one, two, three, get me, four, five, and six so five and six a third number four is half get me right okay so let's go something a little bit more that resembles what we are going to do so the next thing is i'm just going to put in Move this here so I've got the right stuff. Um, my nose. So I'm just going to put it. I like a bobble on my nose. I, I've always done it with a circle, but you don't have to. Okay? Um, and I'll show you in a minute. I'll rub it out. So. Half that again, and that's your, your middle of your lip, this this the bit in the middle. So, right now, what I'm going to do is just put my eyes in, okay? Now straight away I can see that that sides need to be a bit bigger. You wouldn't necessarily draw all this guys. You you draw it how you want. But this is how you position. So the next thing is I'm going to draw two horrible circles like that. Right? But what you're going to do is just put And you're taking the edge off, can you just see? I'll rub it all out for you in a minute. So if I just take that off and that off, you start to see. Can you see how the shape's changed? So you bring it down. Bring that down. But your circle is where your eyeball is. You're drawing your circle. So there, that bit would be where your circle was, yeah? But it's actually now your socket. Okay, so you draw your your eye in however you want. Next minute is that's the top 
the sides of your eye okay now the middle of your eye is basically where your lips would go there so it's very I don't want you to get too het up with lines so the lips would be there now I've drawn that too high so I'm going to draw it again there that's better so I've got my circle got my, my little dippy bits but here this is where my lips join when you have a dip now that's not the top of my lip the top of my lip is comes up like that and comes down right on the bottom of my lip it's way out this it's round and up now bottom lip always bigger than your top lip that's well out that but I'm just showing you you understand so what I'm going to do is just thin it out a little bit so Now this is quite caricaturous, I don't draw realistic. Okay, so that's well I'm, I'm drawing on the side so it doesn't look right. You know when you can't get going today, this is I'm better off just show, showing you my my sketch work. That's better. I'll do it again in a minute. So then the nose can be a, a number of things. So the nose goes here. Alright. But the nose can be as simple as that. Simple as that. If you want to draw a bubble, you draw the circle first and then round the sides. And then from your eyebrow, it comes in and out. It never ever, it shouldn't come straight down. Because if you do that, you end up with it. That. It looks more like your bum than it does. So again, put your circles on, put this in there. Your next thing to get you, you looking right is your eyebrow. Now your eyebrows should be there. And they go straight there, they go upwards, downwards, that way. So you put your eyebrows in. Now your ears. And then we can finish our noses. So what do noses look like? Like I'll do a couple for you. So let me draw the eye first. Alright, so. A full circle take the top off take the bottom off if you bring the top one you just put your tear duck in like that and this isn't the be all and end all believe you me this is what you go on to do then and then so you've got this here and this bit here I'm going to rub the edges out Is your eye socket okay so you will draw whatever you need to in there but you do need to practice this so you've got your little like tear duck you've got your eye get rid of that underneath you'd have your almond shape eyes whatever so you get the general gist so it started as a circle take the top the bottom off it and you've got a better shape eyebrows they should be drawn individually and eyebrows tend to come out in clumps they don't go straight up and down or like your eyelashes so if you want like a quite a, a manicured look then it's usually like that sort of shape and then you you know you're drawing the the shade and not the
you start to put some real detail in so draw that out as well and then the eyebrows they sort of go meet there and then they come down that way and then the top come down to meet him so it's not a case of all up they come down and up. I've done it really bright and broad there but they come down at the top round there upwards there to meet and then they sort of flick up at the front so you get that more of a okay so that's one thing the nose the nose can be drawn several ways right there's a nose that can be quite high up a nose that can be lower so if i try and put a little bit implement a little bit of this into here we might be able to get a bit more of what looks like a blooming face than this thing because at the moment this is looking very uh dodger so let me just put my eye in so If you think that is your full eyeball it's crazy to think that it looks it doesn't so i'm just going to put that in take that edge off just going to run that in and run that round there's my eyeball there's my lid get rid of the shape get rid of the lines i'm starting to get a better shape I have, all, I have never ever said in my entire life that I am a portrait drawer. I'm just going to add a little bit of a line there and, and I'm just going to put in your nose and your eyes all seem to be on line. You get a section of your eye down the side of your nose like that. That's the end of your eyebrow sort of thing. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So I'm going to put the, the eye in, that needs to come up a little bit, that's it, so now what I'm going to do is I can put a nose on, so the reason I'm going to put a nose on is there's a different ways of doing the nose and the, one of the ways of doing it is to sit it quite high, so I'm going to leave the lines on one half just to show you, so here we've got a nose there, what you can do is go quite high with this actually it looks absolutely terrible absolutely terrible but once you bring in it's way too bloody neck it's too high I can't draw for toffee today. Well, at least you can see it's crap some days. So it's like a bird, like that. And then... Like that, round it. You have to keep doing it. You can see the, the nose is starting to come round. So you've got that shape, or you've got this shape, which is, I, I normally draw it like, like that. So you get more of a bobble. So there's the end of a nose. That bit you wouldn't see. This is a nostril. So I tend to draw it. And then I get rid of the bobble because it looks like stupid. And then at the end of it, it would be
you'd have a straighter nose where you'd, you'd sort of play with it and if you wanted to you could just take that make that darker there to make the nostril more noticeable I don't like that it's too heavy but it would be your nose sort of is shaded like like that you get there so I'll draw them in so the first nose is you could have one where the nostrils look like and then you know that way I'm not a lover of that shape because I always find it's incredibly hard it looks like the I don't know looks like person like the snorting I, I don't personally like it like that however some people do I prefer it where I'm drawing a circle and then it's all almost like a man sat beneath an hat but then what I can do is draw the end which would be darker there you get rid of the nostril and then this would come up I tend to draw noses more like that um, and it's incredibly difficult for me to show you because you'll you'll find that you've got your own way now you'll notice that there's a real sort of obvious curve there but you don't need that on you only need a little bit the lips are really really quite easy the fact that you've just got to do the dip bit in the middle and then it, it comes up slightly down slightly down and then back up again I liken a lot of these shapes to birds it's only very simple but then your top lip sort of goes like that and the bottom lip It's longer it's well out there it's longer but it's not so it's bringing this in a little bit more So the way you do your flare of your nostril, oh it looks well dodgy there, let me get rid of that. The way you do the flare of the nostril really does matter. So if you do a round a bit there, you could have a flatter nose there or a rounder nose. But either way you just need a little bit, so I'm just going to draw that off there so you can see. That's too like that. Nobody's nose is like that. So the first thing you need to do is just remember that it's see that's not in the middle, that is there. There we go. See, I don't like. I'd have to work on this for ages to get it right. But the rule of thumb is, it's a third, a third, and a third. It's better. But I'm thinking this nose is still not too big, so I'm just going to get rid of that as well. I'm really not. I can normally draw most things but I'm not 
a person drawer. Seriously not. But I'm willing to sort of sit down and just show you some of the little things that I, I used to teach for people. I'm not saying that I did it brilliantly, but I'm just saying it helped them to sort of get proportions right. So, you'd have to get your proper shaded in there. And your eyelashes and eyebrows don't go. They're not, some of them are, are drawn in clumps. So when you're drawing your eyelashes, it, it's not, it's, more like that and you've got a softer I'll be here farting around for ages so just to give you the the low down again oh that looks awful I'll do it on another page just to show you it is you draw your circle top line bottom line middle line then you're in half as a guide and then draw it into thirds right so then it would be eyes nose divide that up mouth then Right, so you could get three eyes in there. One, two, three. Eyes, okay. Nose. Eyebrows. Eyes, nose, and then the mouth would be the middle of your eyes there so there's your basic there it would be your basic shape get rid of that so you can see it in the middle there's, that is the basic shape for your mouth, nose, eyes, brows, then your ears would be there, you get me? I've not drawn a face, that was the first great face I've drawn for, oh gosh, 10 years I think, maybe more. But there are lots of ways of doing it. I mean, she's more successful. And she's just like a little face where you just, all you've got to do is keep practicing, seriously, keep practicing. And, and keep, you know, just don't give up. And then it's just like, if some of the trips and tricks don't work for you, that's fine. They don't work for everybody. But then, you start to draw them smaller. See, I'd rather scribble.
So I scribble little faces like that. I don't tend to do big. Um, I don't tend to use the bottom of the eyes for when I'm drawing eyes. I tend to just use the top. So I use the bottom of the eye as the eyeball. I tend to just use the bobble, bring the nose round, get rid of it. So the basic features are there. That's how and where. I am not a portrait drawer, but circle, well, shape, divide in half, divide in half, and then forget your halves and just do it third and a third. Eyes go there, right between the third and the eyes. The nose comes down and just comes here. And the lips go halfway between your eyes and that shows it there really easy but i must admit i need a lot of practice to even consider it i mean when you start to look at the eyes properly you can get some nice shapes and the lips you know you tend to, people tend to try and draw this which isn't that's what you tend to get that there and it's not, you're actually drawing the shape. So with a bit of practice, you sort of get, start to get the feel of it. The eyes, Again, there's the big circle. You bring it down, bring that on there, knock that off, knock that off. And and you keep going and don't do the eyeball like that. That's it don't look like that either. So very, very, very basic. Again, the nose if you're unsure, that's a big quite a um this is quite this is quite a sort of cute nose um where you've got a little button nose and then just two little nostrils like that that's quite an easy nose to do then you get rid of your lines and then that comes straight up so that's quite a nice easy nose to do um there's the you know where you you sort of draw in it quite high and then it's all to do with shading when you're drawing it quite high and then lots of different ways and I mean when I'm drawing I, I don't even draw a face here I just I sort of scratching I don't draw a face as such but you get the idea you get the idea of where it is not a brilliant uh, drawing, I must admit, but I do have to practice, but like everything, that's what it's about. But there are little tips and tricks on there that'll help you. It's all about positioning, and once you get that right, I will practice, though, because I've just realised how, how lacking I am in some of my drawing, especially with it the eyes especially with the, the noses so yep yeah, it's all about taking your time and playing so yeah it's all about you having a go what you want to do and then having a play I mean, I changed that into a male by putting a tash on him. But yeah, so again, like, oh, before I forget, don't forget, if you want to do it this way, I'll do a male and a female. Okay. Female, male. Uh, 
There we go. Center nose. Then, you know, you put your... That's the top of your head, so here it would be there. There's your nose line, chin line, eye line. Did you get me? So there's lots of ways of doing it. My advice is go on YouTube and have a really good look at lots of different ways of doing it. Find the best one for you. Find out what you want to do. I mean, some people don't even... They, they, they register nothing as a face. It, it's just what you want it to be. But remember that male and female are slightly bigger and smaller and more angular. Um, and then... Once you're happy with that shape, you can get rid of everything else and start putting your positionings on. But it's a third, a third, and a third, and then you get that really crazy looking thing there. Okay, so I hope that's helped you. Um, I've got my stuff to do for tomorrow now. It's a short and sweet one, this. Um, but I will be moodling on a Monday. And let me think now, today's... Hang on, Friday, Saturday, I'm on Sunday, so I'll do one on Monday, Monday, Monday Moodle, yeah, but yeah, and uh, I'll go away and uh, practice some drawing, I think, because I don't think I've got this quite right yet, but never mind, I enjoy doing it, I always like to see where I need to brush up with stuff see what's happening and, and it, see where I could do with a bit more work and this has really really highlighted what I need to do but that's cool quite happy with that quite happy with that anyway I love you and leave you hope that's helped positioning um, YouTube has got some brilliant miles better than me stuff on it but once you get your where you want to be with what you're doing then you can start to really put your own little mark on it and a bit of shading and you know bring it to life and let it appear out of your paper um, eyes are brilliant to do you know you could put all sorts of wonderful creations in your eyes make them come alive before you know it you know they'll all be knocking on your door to do portraits like so well they won't be in my case but do you see what I mean you start to pick up the drawing this is much better it's all about the time you spend doing it not rather what you produce not in my case anyway with that but you start to see it sort of a come out of the paper on its own and that's one of the best ways really of you, you, you sort of watch it appear from paper and you're like oh where did that come from I didn't even know you know and, and you've done that and that's one of the best bits like this is appearing now This is appearing, so. There we go, it's starting to appear, doesn't it? And that's where, I mean, it starts, things start to appear then. Um, redeem me a little bit that I think but remember you know it's entirely up to you how you do it at the end of the day just as long as you're happy and that you can sort of get it right marginally okay all right I quite like that one actually but I'd spend about another two three hours on it to make it more real but you start to get the idea of where it looks like from that so love you and leave you some dodgy drawings on there as well and if you do need any help there's lots of people around and have a look at the experts group we've got wonderful in files if you go to media and in files you'll see there's an expert page and we've also got a listening chat page 
not medical in any way. All right, so I will see you Monday, bright and early, well, 12 o'clock, and we'll have a, a, a chat and a doodle then, but I'm going back to my Moodle, um, and we'll go from there. All right, so I love you and leave you. Sorry it's a bit dull, but you get the idea.